Okay, it is a beautiful spring morning, so I'm taking just a little bit of time to work on my little project out here. And this is why we haven't had any of the weekly updates. I am making some changes. Uh, and I've mentioned this in the previous videos. I am converting everything to 48 volt. I just want to play with 48 volt from now on. And that's going to make some things easier for me to, to manage and deal with. I'm still going to have a 12 volt and a 24 volt circuit, you know, kind of set off to the side so I can test, you know, future 12 and 24 volt turbines and projects. But the things that are going to be running all the time from now on are going to be 48 volts. And this is one of the biggest things that I, I'm doing. So up here, my rectifiers, especially that rectifier, is the one that goes to the Healy 2.0. I have recorded that thing at 390 degrees Fahrenheit, and I have it mounted on wood. So that one's always made me a little bit uncomfortable. Actually, uh, the last windstorm, I, I came out and I put a, a, a graphite plate behind it and pulled it off the wood. I did the same thing for the one that goes to the Easter Breeze I-1500, which is that one, because it was getting a little warm, nowhere near what the Healy was doing, but it was getting kind of warm. Uh, I've now got these mounted to a aluminum channel. And this is, because uh, I've had a couple of people ask me you know, where I get that. And where I get that is from these. These are old night, with a K, uh, dental lights. And that, that channel that I've got it mounted to is the channel that that goes to up there. And basically, you know, if you go to a dentist office, they've got these lights, or some of them. They, they're called track lights. And that's what they pull down and point at your your head to look in your your mouth of course i i like mine out here for working on my little projects and it's got a different head on it but you know it's recycled that's where i get that if uh you, you can look up like independent uh dental technicians in your area ask your dentist who they use for service sometimes they can hook you up with a contact uh a lot of us you know, we, we pull these things down. Like th this light came out of the office because it was it was broken. And it was so old that it wasn't worth investing any effort in, in repairing. And, you know, they, again, like I said, I, that's none of the circuitry on the inside is, is original. So I've had to gut the whole thing just to get the light on it that I want. But I got a couple of them, and that channel up there is perfect for this and now behind each one of my relays here or relays each one of my uh, rectifiers there is a inch and a quarter hole drilled well currently there's one drilled behind the Healy but there's going to be one on each of them and I'm going to have let's see if I can get it far enough in there goes all the way through I'm going to have both ends blocked and I'm going to drill a hole down here for a large fan and set it up just like I've got for my rectifiers. The rectifiers are a little bit different. I don't have holes drilled behind these. These are mounted flush to the plate. Most of these uh, relays, most of these relays are bad. I just use them for spacing. I've got all my good relays set aside so I don't get them all mixed up. And you see, got a big fan over here. There's a big hole cut behind the fan. Can't quite get back there. And I have got a computer, like CPU heat sinks. They're mounted all along the inside of this. I'm only two of them are side drafts, so like the you know, some of them ain't going to matter so much. I'm looking for bigger heat sinks that I can mount along the inside. But this end over here is going to be completely blocked off. This is going to be capped. No, 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 no. This end is going to be capped. This end, I'm going to put a little mesh filter on the end of it to keep the critters out. And whenever, anytime that these relays are on, 
any of the relays are, are on, this fan is going to come on and it's going to be sucking heat out of there. Uh, the fan only draws 20 watts, so if any of them, you know, if the tur turbine is running enough to activate a fan, it it's it's going to be easy to cover that, that usage. And the usage for that fan is going to come off of the turbines. It's going to come out of the battery packs, not anything else. So I'm going to have that set up the same way. Just a big fan over here, but this will be... Uh, this one is a a puller. It's going to draw air through, out. This one is going to push air in, and it's going to come out from behind the uh, the rectifiers. The rectifiers, all themselves, I'm going to get close enough. And you can see all the way through there. They all have uh, spacing on the back, so with a little bit of air coming through, they will definitely vent off a pretty good bit i've also eliminated most of the spaghetti you guys have seen like every time i redo this i have it all neat and then i change something and then we get it after a couple of months i just end up with wires just everywhere and i call it spaghetti i have gotten rid of all of the spaghetti again and i'm hoping that this time I'll be able to, to keep it a little bit more under control. I did simplify my wiring down here. I used uh, big cables, big battery cables for most of it. And I'm going to try to make, the, like up here, these two circuits, uh, yeah, these two up here, these are going to be dedicated 48 volt circuits. Uh, the ones on the bottom, these two are going to be switchable. I will change those out as needed. These are probably going to be... Whoop, I can't even see where I'm pointing here. These are probably going to be 48 dedicated as well, but I'm going to try and pull most of my current for like my relays and stuff from up here, if I can, I think. Not 100% certain yet. I may have to change that. Uh, or one side of it, I don't know. I'll figure it out, but I'm going to try to definitely keep the spaghetti to a minimum. I do still have to figure out how exactly I'm going to mount all my switches. I don't know. I'm thinking here. I don't know. We'll figure that out. That's less important, even though they're a big contributor to the spaghetti. Uh, and then how all my inverters are going to tie in. I am going to have all of these hardwired now. I'm going to bring down uh, a, a circuit that will put me a little junction box down here on the corner. And each one of these will feed into that. I'm going to have each leg of my 220 going down there. I'm going to have half of them or two of these going to one side, two of those, the other two going to the other side. I'm that one I'm strictly keeping for tests, uh, just whatever, whatever I need an extra inverter for, or I might just run my 24 volt circuits to that, or we'll see. Those four are going to be the, uh, the important ones and they're all going to be hardwired and going into a junction box that will be in this area. Anyway. Just thought I'd post a little bit of an update because I haven't posted much about how things are performing lately. And this is why it's all taken apart. So hopefully within the next two weeks, hopefully within the next two weeks, I'll have this all fired back up and I will be able to do some new tests because I've got some new products coming. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend, and I hope you have a nice week.